Good morning, world. JT Money here, man. I woke up out of my sleep. And with just a realization, you know, just some shit that I understand now that motherfuckers ain't even got a clue of what we went through or who is who. Like, I'm in the studio, the young niggas, man. And, um... My career older than this nigga. Like, his daddy was a little nigga when I started. So, I, I'm starting to get it now. Like, well, I got to start from the beginning. I got to oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the set of Planet JJ. My son, they do a podcast. I move all this shit out of my way. I need mics and shit. Um, And it's cold out here. That's why I got all my shit on this side of the house. But... When it come to the Florida G shit, we talking about Florida, Southeast, you know, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, you know, even some North Carolina, because you niggas know part of the mentality. Listen, when y'all hear me say shit like it wasn't there a nigga like me before me, I literally mean that shit. But y'all don't, listen, man. The young nigga was so young, he wouldn't tell me, hey, when I said, nigga, the last Poison Clan album was 95, he was like, no, I'm born yet. I'm like, God damn, little nigga. Like, so, all right, I'm bouncing all around. I'm showing niggas, um, I'm just talking to the dude. He wasn't disrespectful at all. No disrespect, young nigga. Nigga just don't know. So that means whoever from the neighborhood or area that's supposed to pass the ball or whatever, you niggas ain't passing the ball the baton. You know, um, y'all just let the crackers come in, do whatever they do. I mean, technology change, time change. That's a natural evolution. That shit is natural. But for a nigga from Orlando to not know nothing about nothing, nigga don't know. Look, he don't know too high crew. He don't, you know. He heard a trick. He know Rick Ross. He know Yak. Nigga asked me, did I know Flo Rida? You know, so I showed a nigga pictures with all these guys. And he's saying, well, damn, boy, you you at the millionaire. You at all the fans. Damn, who? And I'm saying, little nigga. Who the fuck you think? Because, you know, he came with Chico. Chico paying for the feature. You know, I got another job, too. You know, I, I I rap, you know, for those. I let them niggas who know about it, you know, invest in it or buy a piece. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call that. A little more to the story. Like, anything, like, he didn't know. Like, I'm like, yeah, but all them niggas is my little bro. I don't care who he is. I ain't finna do no name dropping. I don't care you. All them niggas is my little brothers. Like, far as this rap thing go. Check. All them niggas my little brothers. Like, you had Two Live Crew. You had Poison Clan. Baby Two Live Crew. Now, far, you know, Two Live Crew, you know, the party, you know, the bad boys rap. Now, I see, you know, ooh, 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 you know, the fun party music, you know. Give me that pussy. Baby Two Live Crew, Poison Clan. Check it out. Hit the poor dumb in that drug. See, we was the streets. That shit didn't exist before Poison Clan. And if it did, show me another motherfucker. And we ain't talking about ghetto boys or no other niggas. Because that's the only thing you can say. Ghetto boys or NWA. Can't say nothing now. You know what I'm saying? But the 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 culture, the I don't know where I see it, it sounded so much better in my head when I was asleep before I jumped up out of my bed. Niggas folk that in the morning, man. And um we all know I ain't a nigga to talk on the phone, but I just wanna record this message in case somebody hear it one day. Like JT Money. Let's not forget. I gotta say the name in case they still don't know who the fuck they looking at. JT Money. That's that dude. Whenever anybody disrespected anything from Miami, 
guess who they call the Howlin'? Far as this rap gang go now, remember, we talking about rap music, see? And I get it, again, time change, shit evolves, evolution, and, but the rap gang was really about the rap, the lyrics, it was the concept, it was the flows, it was the, you know, no two niggas sound that alike, you know? We ain't even going all that, you know? I, I, I know that y'all done heard all that, niggas make the same records, the sound the same, uh, 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 all the... All right, cool. That's just how niggas do it today. Like, you niggas' attention span short. Like, this video might be too motherfucking long. We might have to do it in clips for these niggas. But, uh, again, let those with ears hear. You know what I'm saying? Jesus said that. In case y'all niggas don't know who the fuck Jesus is. God damn. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm telling a nigga, like, nigga, I'm the nigga that... Fought the fight. I, I showed a nigga picture of Luke. And he like, no, nah, I don't know. Like, who that is? And I'm like, nigga, that's your uncle. That's your favorite uncle. Well, no, that's your uncle. I'm your favorite uncle. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I said, that's the nigga who went to the Supreme Court and won the rights for you niggas to even cuss and he'll cuss for his own record. This nigga say, but he recognized a picture of Snoop. But, you know, Snoop is in the, the light today. You know, you understand? Like, I do get it. But pop culture, like, it ain't no underground culture. So, oh, I got two names. I I'm talking about the young niggas I like today. Like, uh, I talk about Fish Scale. I talk about uh, Golden Boy, kind of. You know, he like, yeah, them young niggas. I'm like, yeah, but well, them my young niggas. Them niggas I like. And, like, you know, I'm like, yeah, we finna do something. We got, uh, 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 uh. He was kind of excited. The nigga ain't know. He heard of Coley, but he didn't even know I had a record. Oh, he didn't even know I had a record with Coley. He didn't know I had a record with Berg. He didn't know I had a record with Mike Smith. They just, listen, man, I went to saying, well, nigga, have you heard of real nigga run the yard? He said, nah. I said, come clean. I said, cut to the ball. I said, Chevy gang. He said, nah. I said, nigga, you heard of Shake What You Want? He said, yeah. The culture, man. This nigga from Orlando, man. This is what I'm telling you. But the nigga in the studio, yeah, boy, that's Za. You know what I'm saying? He's showing me pictures in his phone about all the weed he got. This is the kind of shit I sell. You know, that's what I be having. And I'm like, <laughs> God, man, God. Listen, man, this ain't meant for nothing. I'm just documenting some shit. Right now, y'all forgive me. Hope I ain't boring you niggas. I'ma chop this bitch up in pieces. Um, of course I snapped on the verse. Like when I came out, me y'all niggas was excited. It just ain't no who, like, you know, they be like, damn, I'm snap down. Who's he snap? But I'm like, nigga, I'm the reason all these niggas, you know, I'm where they get it from. You know? I'm a nigga's inspiration, whether they admit it or not, because everybody got some game from that JT Money name. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who or what set you claim. You did? And and a lot of you niggas don't even know it. You got it through osmosis, you know, through another nigga trying to sound like you. You think that nigga out your neighborhood invented that, think he came up with that. No. 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 But, again... It's beyond the shit got me baffled. How about that? Let's use that word, baffled. What the focus is on, like, when, when they say the, the motherfuckers program and our kids and people, hold on, it was somebody I showed him. He was like, yeah, that, oh, I showed him a picture of me and Slick Rig and Dave Fred. He was like, hey, that's Slick Rig. My granddaddy like him. Yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I say right. So when you go home, nigga, you ask your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your grand, you ask them about these people I'm telling you about. You understand? God, these young niggas, man. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna let it 10 minutes go. But it was something else, man. You know, and I had to tell a nigga, like, when the candy lyrics, the street lyrics, you know, even that sound, like, I told, I gave a nigga a homework assignment. I say, when, bro, when y'all leave here, 
on your way back right into the O, you start with poison clan and you go through that shit track with track. You let this young nigga know it's a, so the nigga bought the, the Chico who bought the shit, he Chico, you know. He been gone half his life, nigga, you know what I'm saying? He, he bearded out, but he came out. See, he came out on Kite to the Boys. That's his song. He heard that in the train game. It got me down with it. So, of course, when he get out and he get his bag up, he want a JT Money feature. You know, I oblige. But the young nigga he ride with ain't got a clue. And he from Orlando. I told a nigga, I'm in there talking to the young nigga. The engineer, you know, he said, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know Poison Clan, that's a, a record label. I said, no, that's the group I started, me and my partner there. He said, no, I'm, no. I said, you from Miami? I said, yeah, I'm from Miami. Something was going on. He said, no, I, I do know. See, I'm young, but I, I know Poison Clan. I said, who is Poison Clan? He said, I, I know they, um. I, I know they like uh, drugs. Um, uh, I say, yeah, you good, you good enough. Like you know something, you know if you can remember that name, drugs. You know what I'm saying? I say, yeah, devil and drugs and the money man. I say, yeah, bitch on the money man. And I, that's what that's how we got to that last album, '95. I say, but nigga, Poison Clan split out the first album, and then the next two, or three albums, I brought the other cats in off the off the block. You know what I'm saying? You know, I get a nigga the story. And then and I, and I'm telling the nigga, listen, man, my career, 30 years old, 31, 32 years old. I say, nigga, I did Soul Train. They say, get the fuck out of here. You ain't do no motherfucking Soul Train. That shit old as well. And I'm sitting up there like, what? So you know y'all nigga got his handheld device in his hand. I say, Google me, bitch. Look it up, y'all nigga. I say, you start. That's how I ended up giving a nigga his homework. You see all this shit that say JT. I say, but don't forget Poison Clan, because really in real life, I got two separate careers. Like from the radio station, like like Spotify and Pandora, they don't even put my songs together. If they play JT Money, they're going to play JT Money and whoever else they relate JT Money to. When they play Poison Clan, they're going to put whatever the fuck they relate Poison Clan to. Fucking algorithms. That's probably why you niggas off. You niggas live off algorithms. Y'all ain't getting no truth. Artificial, artificial intelligence is just that. It's artificial. You niggas got to get official. You see how God worked? He gave me that to give you niggas. Artificial intelligence is artificial. And I'm going to leave it like that. The rest of you niggas do your homework. Shout out to the niggas who still here that can do it. You know, like myself. And I woke up out of my sleep with this shit, man. I ain't want 10 minutes to catch me, but I ain't going to let 15 catch me, man. Um... God bless you. Good night. Um, you know, on this song survive the next wave. But before I go, the immortal album dropping. Poisonous Mentality 30 year anniversary dropping. And we're gonna do another Florida classic check. Here be that. Planet JJ. Y'all be on the lookout for my nigga blog site. Whatever it is. It's called Planet JJ. Where is that? I saw the nigga Glove out there. Look at uh, Thanos and all the niggas. I wasn't supposed to show y'all all that. Peace in the hood, man. Blessing.